Hi everyone, welcome back. Happy Friday at Piano Music. Very soothing there, as was today's rain. If you wanted rainfall, uh, we got it along the coast here, especially out on the island where one to two inches was common. There were isolated pockets of heavier amounts up at Bayside. South side of town, two reports. Uh, Bill Alexander of our staff had over an inch of rain, as did Jimmy Ruiz. Uh, on the south side too. So 1.96 in Ingleside, Rockport 1.09, officially about a half inch of rain out at the airport and down at Kingsville, but lesser amounts as you go further inland, but that's going to change. We also, oh, by the way, had some rain in our watershed. Here is San Antonio. So west of San Antonio is where our watershed is. It's totally out of our region, but there was rain there last night that may eventually trickle down into parts of Choke Canyon and Lake Corpus Christi. So the storms that we had this morning went right over the city and the island and brought the beneficial rain right there and then stretching onto the north, uh, the gem city of the south, Portland, had uh, 85 hundredths of an inch of rain. Right now it is quiet across the region. There'll be a few light showers uh, going on here and there across the city this evening. But with the uh, carnival canceled, I guess it doesn't really matter. But the bottom line is there's some light showers out on the island over to Portland right now and back out towards uh, the Catula area. And the heavy rain is out here to the west from Laredo north and east. And that's what's coming. And that's the reason for the flash flood watch until 7 o'clock tomorrow night where additional rainfall amounts of 2 to 4 inches, but isolated amounts of 6 inches are possible in the watch area. Corpus Christi is right in the middle of it. Right now, it is quiet outside with an east wind at 20. 73 degrees. The reason for the wind, these storms in the Gulf, the uh, outflow from these storms is pushing back and it's actually pushed our front back uh, to the west of us. So it's uh, draped across the region. This upper level low is pooling moisture as that moves closer to us. It'll cause lift and showers and thunderstorms to occur. Watch them come in here tonight. This is 1.30 in the morning, then off to the east by 8.30 in the morning, and then another round of just scattered showers late in the day tomorrow before it pushes off to the east and brings beautiful weather as advertised here on Sunday with sunshine, but it will be hot and steamy. All right, let's take a look uh, up close. Again, you can see the storms forming in Freer at 10 o'clock tonight and up around Refurio. And this is the lion's share of the rain. It's going to roar through about 3 a.m. There could be some localized uh, flooding with this lingering all the way up till about 8 in the morning. And then again, just uh, light showers at noon, scattered showers then tomorrow evening. And that is it. And we are done. So things will look a lot better here by the time we get to Sunday for outdoor plans. Rainfall amounts, this uh, GFS model may be a little bit overdone, but some areas could pick up. Uh, anywhere from two to four, maybe five inches of rain. A severe weather outlook for tomorrow does call for a slight risk, marginal risk of severe weather, and the winds will be gusty uh, near storms. Uh, tonight, 73 now. We will hold in the low 70s with thunder showers developing mainly after midnight and through the morning hours. It's going to be a rough night. The air show for Sunday looks fantastic, improving. All the rain will be gone. There'll be sunshine and high ceilings and visibility for the pilots. It's a go. 76 tomorrow. Rain likely in the morning, but drying out in the afternoon and Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Look at the highs, 90 to 91 Sunday, Monday. Then that uh, weak front comes in Tuesday and makes for pleasant weather. After that, Katya.